Okay, for this screencast, we're going to build on plotting, and we're going to do something called parametric plotting. So you may have seen this in pre-calculus, but essentially, let's say I want to plot a circle, right? Well, I could do things in Cartesian coordinates, and I could say that y equals square root of 1 minus, well, so let's slow down. So x squared plus y squared equals r squared. That is the equation for a circle. So I could solve for y, and I could say that y equals plus or minus square root of r squared minus x squared, right? So then I could say r equals th 3, and then I could say x equals, and you have to get a range, right? x goes from negative 3, 0 0.1 to 3, and then I would have to do y positive is square root of um, r squared minus x squared and then y negative is negative square root of r squared minus x squared and then I would do plot x comma y positive and I'm gonna plot this in blue and then I'm gonna do a hold on and I'm gonna plot x comma y negative in red and then I'm gonna throw up here a whoop, well, there it, okay, so I accidentally hit control enter and played it. Um, but I'm gonna do a clear, a CLC, a close all. And I'm gonna hit go, okay? So there we go, there's my circle, right? But this is not very convenient, right? I had to do two plot commands. I'm gonna comment all of this out because I'm gonna do comment. Because it'd be a lot easier if I did everything in polar coordinates. So if you Google this, you should know this by heart, but you should Google it if you don't, right? The equation of a circle in polar coordinates is y equals r times sine of theta, x equals r times cosine of theta, and theta goes from 0 to 2 times pi, right? So now if I do plot x comma y, Look at that, I've got a circle that is one, one line versus this one, I'm gonna uncomment this guy. And I'm actually gonna do, before I plot this guy, I'm gonna do figure, and up here I'm gonna do figure. And what this allows me to do is I'll have two separate figures. So see, now I've got figure one and figure two. So this one, I've got a line up here which goes, which is the top y positive, and then I have a line down here, which is y negative. But over here, in the parametric plotting, I've got one line here. So I could do a title and say parametric plotting, and up here I can do um, title standard plotting. Hit F5 again, and where do my titles go? Oh yeah, that's right. You need to. You have to have these after your plot, by the way. Otherwise, it clears it. There we go. So parametric planning, plotting, standard plotting. So what is parametric plotting? Standard plotting says y equals a function of x, right? Parametric plotting says that y equals a function of theta and x equals a function of theta. So the independent variable is theta rather than x. Cool? Alright, so I'm going to do the same thing I did for the last video. I'm going to remove all the spaces so that way you can do a screenshot Okay, I guess this code is pretty big. Um, all right, I'm gonna just scroll through it slowly. And that way you can pause it on YouTube and you can see what you missed if you're trying to follow along. Okay, I'm gonna hit play again. So these are the two figures that you should see. And by the way, the MATLAB window doesn't do anything there. The command window doesn't do anything. All right, there you go. There's parametric plotting. Good luck.